Hi, my name is Zoe, the tall, the beautiful, the highly favorite, the set apart. Welcome back to my channel and a happy new year to all of you. If you are new here, please subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this one. I am a financial coach and in this video, I am going to be talking about how to save and pay off your debts at the same time. Now, this is one of the biggest debates that people usually have when it comes to finances about whether to save while you have debts. But sometimes you just have to do it both right and there's nothing you can do about it like you have to save up for something that is very important and you obviously have to continue paying off your debts because we do not miss payments and we do not pay our debts late because that is going to affect your credit score and your credit report right so when you are saving while paying off your debt you need to have a reason for your saving you need to know why you are saving and that reason is going to keep you going i liken saving to exercising you start off with that zeal and you're like yes i'm gonna do this right and then once you start exercising then you begin to feel the pains in your body and you're like oh my word what was i thinking and it is at that point where you decide whether you're going to continue or you are going to give up now if you have a reason that is going to keep you going and you're not going to give up it's the same thing with saving when you are saving you come with that zone you're like yes this is my year i'm gonna save up for this thing and whatnot and whatnot and then once you have money in your account things start coming and you just suddenly you have to use money for something but then it is at that point that your reason is going to keep you going that you know what i'm going to continue saving and i'm not going to borrow from my savings account so once you have a reason for your saving and you are sure and have decided that you're going to have to do both saving and paying off your debts at the same time you are going to need a plan and the plan is budgeting now budgeting is planning for all the money that comes into your account as in how you're going to save it and how you are going to spend it now remember you must budget for all of the money that comes into your account there is no such thing as free money because if you have money that you have not budgeted for you are going to end up spending it recklessly right even if it's money for example that was owed to you by SARS or that was owed to you by the university or your bonus or money that you receive from friends or your family or any money that comes into your account you must budget for it I started budgeting in 2017 when I started working and I realized that I was making the mistake of not budgeting for entertainment and an emergency fund and I think that's where a lot of us make mistake when it comes to budgeting those two things are very important to budget for because we like to entertain ourselves we like eating out we like going out to the movies we like traveling and all of those things right and there's nothing wrong with that but we just need to budget for it because that is money that we do use right and then an emergency fund for unexpected expenses because they do come and they come unexpectedly right so you need to budget for those things as well having an emergency fund is going to prevent you from borrowing money from your savings account and we all know that paying back money is not very easy especially if you're going to borrow money from yourself it's going to be very easy for you to come up with excuses as to why you must not pay back your money that you took from your savings account right so having an emergency fund is going to help you in that sense it doesn't have to be big you don't need an emergency fund of three times your salary or anything like that just enough to help you when things come unexpectedly we recently were without electricity for six days six days without electricity and on the first day we thought no it's just low shedding the electricity is going to come back by the end of the day and that day went by and the next day came by still no electricity we had to continue eating and all of that was money spent unexpectedly the food in the fridge was beginning to spoil and so that meant that we needed to have money to buy food for when the electricity did come back and that is where an emergency fund comes in so that you don't have to borrow money from your savings account because unexpected things do happen and most of the time they need money in order to be solved like having no electricity for six days unexpectedly and lastly 
it is very important to remember that if you have debt you pay for it on time and you pay at least the minimum amount that is required of you to pay if you know that you're going to miss the date then you must call your creditors and make an arrangement so that you can pay at a later date than what you were expected to pay on and if you are struggling to pay the amount that you are supposed to pay every month then you must try and call your creditors and see if they can decrease your monthly installment if it is a credit card for example uh, remember that you pay a certain percentage of what you use every month and sometimes if not with all of the banks the minimum amount of money that you can pay back every month is five percent so if you're currently paying maybe like 20 percent of the money that you use then you can go in and make and make an arrangement with them so that you pay five percent instead of 20 percent you see so you must make an arrangement so that you meet whatever is required of you to pay your debts every month and with regards to saving, you must remember that you save before you spend. You do not save what is left after you have spent your money, but you save first and then you spend later. It works much better if you automate your savings. And if it is possible, depending on how long you want to save and what you're saving for, you must fix your savings unless it is an emergency fund your emergency fund must not be fixed because this is money that you want to use when unexpected things come by. I thank you very much for watching this and uh, please remember to subscribe if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below or contact me on my socials in the description box until next time yeah.